Welcome to our annual sports car extravaganza, Britain's best driver's car, where we set out to find the most entertaining new sports car of the year. To which purpose we have gone to the magnificent Anglesey circuit and tested last year's winner, the Ferrari 488 GTB, against the best new sports cars of the year. Whoa, welcome to the inside of a warm 911R. We've taken all this sound and weight reducing thing quite seriously. No radio, no air conditioning. This is a pure, pure 911 driver's car. And 911s don't get much better than when they're at their absolute purest, if I'm honest. So what do we get? We get an engine that revs to way over eight and a half. GT3 RS engine in a GT3 chassis, for want of a more apt phrase. Oh, it gets warm in here. Oh, listen to that. If people say, what are you missing with natural aspiration becoming turbocharging? Well, that's what you're missing. A car that sounds every inch like a GT3 cup car. <laughs> and a, uh, a level of throttle response that lets you do that. What a machine. Flipping heck. What a car. Like the best fast 911s, it's a really keen driver's car. The steering is really responsive, really accurate, gives you lots of nice feel. Almost use the word granular or grainy there. Get the Mickey taken away on Twitter if you do that. Granular, a bit granular. Nuggety ride. Oh, but there it is. All that 911 goodness. Cry, what a car. What a lovely, lovely car. Gets on a bit as well, doesn't it? It is not slow. Brakes like 911s do. It's just solid feel. So it has all of that 911 goodness that, you know, 911s are very planted, body control is terrific, there's good traction if you want it, brakes are terrific, and they just keep going and going and going, I mean there is, you know, it's no surprise you see so many 911s in endurance racing. From a packaging point of view, putting the engine where it is, is great. It is no handicap at all and it gives it a smaller frontal profile, it gives a 911 nice interior space and the genius of Porsche's engineers means that it is absolutely spot on, super quick, really honed, really keen. The lovely thing about this R, it's also got a bit of a fun side. I mean, that is a 100 mile an hour corner. Serious 911 seriousness. And then at this slow corner, you can just think, you know what, I'm going to have a little bit of fun with you. And it becomes quite a docile, playful little car. It's an amazing piece of kit, isn't it? 911 is the finest sports car in the world, I think, the lineage of 911, the finest sports car in the world.